So we have a really big episode coming up, Kicking It in China, right? That's right. Those sets were pretty amazing. Did you feel like you were in China? I did. I, I truly did. Our set designers did an amazing job with creating that set, painting it, uh, molding it, everything they could. And we were on the Great Wall of China by the end. It was it was, it was very well, well built set. So you have a big episode coming up, Kicking It in China. What was your favorite part about filming that? Filming with one of our guest stars named Matthew Moore. He is one of the funniest people alive. And Mateo and I would be in a scene with him and he'd be so funny that they'd have to cut because we were laughing so hard. So it was definitely fun to work with Matthew Moore. And your characters in this episode get into quite, a, quite an adventure dealing with some fortune cookies. Yes. Were you sick of fortune cookies after this episode? I will never be sick of fortune cookies. Fortune cookies are one of the greatest things on earth. I love fortune cookies so much. But um, they were actually really good. We, I don't know how many, I think we ate like 20 that week maybe. But uh, it, it was a lot of fortune cookies and we still had a lot left over. So never get tired of fortune cookies. What's the craziest fortune you've ever gotten in a fortune cookie? Ah, uh, the craziest fortune? The craziest fortune was probably a blank piece of paper. Does that mean something good or bad? Though? I don't know. I got ripped off. I opened a fortune cookie. It was a blank piece of paper. Maybe that means an abundance of wealth. You never know. Yeah, you, you really don't. I would have to read the passages, although there is no number, so I, I don't know what the passages are. And you all seem like a very tight-knit cast, but do you guys pull pranks on each other? We pull pranks on each other a lot. We mess with each other a lot. Sometimes we'll sneak up from behind on each other and just kind of scare each other. And Olivia is actually the person who gets the worst of it because she's the only girl. But um, but it's it's fun working with all of all of them, and we just have a great time. And I hear all the casts on this lot are pretty pretty pranksters. You know, a lot, very good friends though. Have you ever pranked any of these other sets? I have. I uh, one one night me and and a friend of mine went through through the dressing rooms on Ant Farm and we did something just to each of them. It, whether it was drawing a picture and placing it on there, like for China, we wrote a, drew a Japan flag and put it on there. This is a little prank. Um, but we did we did this for every single one and we would flip signs. The schoolroom sign ended up in the bathroom. It, just random things. And they it, at first they didn't notice and then later I'd just be like, didn't that, you, why is that on the sick? What is going on here? Have they ever retaliated? Not yet. They've been planning an uprising. We don't know when it will happen, but we are ready with an anteater, a little stuffed anteater, ready to glue onto their door. And you guys have the martial arts skills, so they better watch out. Yes, definitely. And last one, do you have any message you want to send to your fans? Uh, please keep watching Kicking It. We love you guys. Thank you to all the fans who watch. Stay awesome.